In this video, uh, we're given the equation of a circle and we're being asked to find the center. So you start by looking at the plus 4 here and all you do is you switch the sign, so that gives us negative 4. Then here we switch the sign on this 5, so it becomes a positive 5. That's always an ordered pair. So again, we just switch the signs. It said plus 4, so we write negative 4. It said minus 5, so we write positive 5. Click OK. To find the radius, you just take the square root of this number here. So the square root of 36 is 6. So again, to find the radius, you just take the square root of 36, which is 6. Uh, it says graph the circle, so I'm going to click, click this. Uh, it says choose a tool. So we're going to choose the circle tool. And then it says click the graph to plot the center of your circle. So the center of our circle is negative 4, 5. So here's negative 4, so I know it's hard to see, and then 5 is up here. So that's negative 4, 5. Okay. Then it says click the graph to plot a point on your circle. So look what happens when I move my mouse. Whoa, it gets big and small. So from the center, we have to travel a distance of 6 in any direction. So it's probably easiest to go up, down, left, or right by 6. So right now we're at 5. So if we go up to 11, up to 11 right here, directly above it, we should be okay. So let's try that. So I went from 5 up to 11, because 5 plus 6 is 11. I just added 6 to the y coordinate, right? So we're directly above it by 6 units. Click Save. And let's try Check Answer. Yep, looks good. Now we want the domain. So the domain is all the x's. So I'm going to click on this magnifying glass. That uh, doesn't really help, so, well, I guess it helps a little bit. So it looks like it's going to be negative 10. So left to right, negative 10 all the way to 2. So let's try that. So negative 10, right, negative 10 all the way to 2. So bracket, negative 10 all the way to 2. Now there's a way to check this without the graph. The, uh, let me scroll up. The, the x coordinate of the center is negative 4. So what you can do to find the domain is you subtract. So negative 4 minus 6 is negative 10. Yep. Negative 4 plus 6 should be 2. Yep. Looks OK. Check answer. The range is all the y values. Let's find it with the graph. So I'll click this. Looks like the smallest y value is negative 1 and the biggest 1 is 11. So negative 1 to 11. And it's always brackets. So bracket negative 1 to 11. And let's check our answer using the center and radius. So what you do is you take the y coordinate and you just add and subtract 5. So 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Check. 5 plus 6 is 11. Check. So it looks okay. Hit check answer. And that's it. Hope that made sense.